Well, for this week's uh, Weed of a Week, we've got uh, a wolf dressed in sheep's clothing, I should put it. It's a, it's a pretty little flower. It's a viola, often called uh, wild, wild violets. They have little purple flowers. We're a little early in the season to see that, but I want to show you what they can do if you let them run wild. We've got little violets that started here along the edge and they have spread all over. The seeds are able to spray the seeds very rapidly and it's one of the more difficult turf grass weeds to get rid of. Um, if you buy that weed and feed, it's hardly gonna touch it. It might make the leaf just turn a funny shade of color and then it bounces back. If you let them go to flower and then to seed, you can have a disaster on your hand. Uh, not too bad here, but I'm gonna get down here low. It's a heart-shaped leaf, and when the flowers come up, they're a very pretty violet, hence the name violet color. Uh, that's what they are. They're actually quite edible. Uh, people flavor drinks out of it. They put them in a French press like a coffee maker and squeeze some of the flavor out of the flowers. I can show you here just how quickly, this is just one little plant, but there are hundreds of little seedlings in that pot. So, how do you get rid of them? Well, first of all, you've got to recognize them. Certainly when they have the flowers, uh, you've got a couple of weeks to start getting rid of them before those seeds spread everywhere. You're actually going to have to use a selective weed killer, uh, one of the stronger weed killers, Creeping Charlie, designed to specifically kill these broadleaf weeds. Uh, they will eventually dominate the grass. So the grass, even if you kept it long, these will be able to overcome it. If you cut it short, the whole body of the uh, violet stays down very low and it doesn't weaken them. They just send up new leaves again. And before you know it, you've got the whole area covered, which when flower is kind of nice, but eventually your lawn will be overtaken. If they get in the flower bed, they're an absolute nuisance because they just keep germinating for several years. And again, you need to dig the whole root out. The unfortunate thing is when you go to weed them, they break and they leave a big chunk of a stem very close to the surface. You'll know when you got them because it's a, a bit of a time pursuit getting rid of them. So there you go, violets, wild violets, just be careful. We'll see you next time on Home and Backyard.